What's going on y'all? JTR here with the first test run of the GP Toys 611 or the rider spell with uh, three R's instead of just uh, two. Uh, but anyway, I'll put a link in the description to this as well if you guys want to go check it out from Amazon. And I actually got in contact with them and we spoke a couple of times back and forth. And there's also going to be a coupon code for I believe it's 20% off. I'm going to put down in the description as well. So, you know, it costs $149. I spoke before about all the parts stuff it comes with, which makes it worth the money after you see, especially all the parts and stuff it comes with. But anyway, uh, we're going to get this thing tested out here, and then we're going to take it off-road for a second. Look at that. It does need a wheelie bar. <laughs> That's, uh... <laughs> That's faster than what I thought it was going to be. I tried to go too far with it, because I know it's pretty small and I am running just one battery with it instead of running um, the two batteries in parallel to get a longer runtime so it does come with as I mentioned before two lipos that's good enough pretty good y'all <laughs> about time we got one of these that's brushless it's this small and it handles look at that <laughs> Of course, I'm going to take it off-road in just a minute. It's been raining like crazy. Look at them brakes. Watch this. Oh, hold on. I was trying to do a break where it kind of went forward. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if I can do it again. I can't do it again. <laughs> I was trying to make it do a break and uh, probably ride a willy too. Okay, if a kid got this, he'd have a lot of fun with it. So I do see why they give you a lot of extra parts with it because um, this is actually pretty fast. Now, that's in high speed. Now, before I go off-road, um, let's turn the speed down to low speed. So if you get this for a kid, they do have two different speeds here. And basically what you're doing is see if we can get this to focus in just a little bit. Um, right here where my finger's at, focus in, come on. Google did some updates to some of their software, and it's just, I, I don't like these updates. But anyway, this button right here, you go up and down. So it was in high. We're switching it down to low and uh, get this to focus back in real quick. And uh, it's still got some get up and go. So we'll definitely have to bring this out on a super speed Saturday. <laughs> That's still pretty good. So if you get this for a kid and you don't want them to be smashing into walls at full speed, just turn it into low speed now I don't think this can run a nickel metal because there wasn't a switchy there wasn't any kind of switch that I saw from uh, going from a lipo to a nickel metal battery so but this right here would be good enough if a kid takes it off road that he, if he runs into something he's probably not going to break it I don't see him at this speed running stuff and breaking out high speeds maybe but they give you extra parts too so I give them a big thumbs up for that because how many cars you know you can get that actually gets extra parts and stuff with it? So I'm gonna switch this back into high gear because uh, I got a little bit of experience over here. I'm trying to see if I can ride a wheelie wheel before we go off road. <laughs> that is too cool. So I can see myself putting a truck body on this real soon, y'all. This little thing is getting up. All right, we got the Kool Aid smile going on here. And it's handling it pretty well. So it's going to be interesting to see it about changing out tires and wheels and putting a truck body on it if I do that later on. But this little thing is getting up, y'all. I like this. All right, let's take it off road real quick and see what we can do over there. All right, y'all, like I said, it's been raining like crazy here in Georgia, y'all. It's just crazy. Um, like, make your mind up. It's supposed to rain for like five days straight. So I'm trying not to flip this because I don't want to go walking through mud and stuff and all that. But I wanted to see, which I knew with these paddle tires on here, this thing is going to handle well. Um, of course, it's going to handle pretty good on this packed mud. But the question is, is let's see how it rolls over here in the grass. That's not going too bad. Look at that. Uh oh, I lost some reception. Might have to go back down and see what the reception's at. They got some, uh, whole bunch of internet connections and stuff over here and all that. So let me go back down here real quick. See if we still get reception. 
Yeah, maybe it was just a fluke or something. I got it. Okay. Now, it does come with oil filled shocks, so I can see myself making some adjustments to the shock weight in there. Um, I'm have to double check on a couple things with that, but I'll make some modifications and let you guys know. There we go. <laughs> kind of um, what I'm going to do to this. I'm probably going at about half throttle out here. That's full throttle. So it's getting plenty of traction. These paddle tires, I knew it would get it some plenty of grip out here, especially with this wet down packed mud Georgia red clay oh no now I gotta go fetch oh no I'll be back y'all all right we're back guys I wanted to show y'all I am getting traction out here look at that making little tread marks out here so so this is this is getting pretty good it really is I can see people getting this and doing modifications to it like putting a body and stuff on it so good job on this good job on this and not that I would try to break apart but if I broke an A-arm I got parts and I got two batteries <laughs> for either extended run time or if I wanted to run and this battery went low and I wanted to run it later on then I just put the other battery in so and if I wanted to charge the LiPo battery they give you two USB chargers with it so if you're driving somewhere and plug it right up to your your car if you got a USB port in there and charge it from there so guys I have to say I'm impressed I can't even <laughs> to see this little thing get up like this you don't need 3s in here you'd be doing backflips and all that and this is plenty fast and plus with some adjustments so if people make some adjustments it's gonna handle a lot better you know, different tires and stuff, but this is fine as it is. <laughs> Very enjoyable. So I'm curious of the runtime with this. Um, I think it's said in the in some of the instructions and all that and online it said with the additional battery A, which you'll be running at two thousand milliamps. Or you have 2,000 milliamps of uh, battery capacity. You'll get about 30 plus minute runtime. So I may put that to the test. I may not do a video. I don't think y'all want to see me run this thing for 35 minutes, do you? Maybe we'll go live one day and I'll bring this out and a couple of things. Maybe we'll do that and uh, just run it for 35 minutes so you guys can tune in and out to kind of find out some of the runtime on it and we can chat as well. Yeah, I'll do that. Supposed to rain the next couple of days, or maybe this weekend, or something like that. Ooh, nice catch, nice say. This could be a little stunt bike. All right, y'all. That is going to be a quick run of this. This is impressive so far. Getting out here and running this thing on three or two S, I'm sorry, and doing it in the high and low speeds as well, and then the additional parts. So like I said, I'll leave a link in the description if you guys are looking at checking this out. And also, there's going to be a coupon code in there as well, um, so you guys can get a couple of bucks off. We always love money off, and it's free shipping from Amazon as well. So anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching. I'm trying to talk over that car. <laughs>